What's up guys, Knife Life 116 here. Just wanted to come on today, do a short little video. Bring my praises on this knife right here once again. This here is the Sincut Vesperon. Satin finish, black G10 scales. I like this one so good guys that I had to go get another version. Had to get one in the satin finish. And I'm telling you what, this detent is tuned in so perfectly. Just wow. This knife is just designed so good. It's hard to believe that it's under $50. You got 9CR18 blade still with a beautiful satin finish. You got this rigid black G10 that's got an excellent, excellent type of uh, texture. It's very, very grippy. This guy just it locks in your hand. The ergos are just very comfortable. See up top, you got those jumps right there. I mean, your thumb just lands perfect right there. It really locks in. So you can use this guy with sweaty hands, wet hands, just any type of environment and condition. Got a very slicey blade. Look at that nice thin blade stock. It's got a quite tall flat grind. Right there. And it's very thin behind the edge. With all that combined, that's where this knife gets its very, very slicey nature. This blade really reminds me a lot of the Wii Exiton. It's got a lot of similarities. And uh, Sinkut, you know, they're, they're kind of, they're Wii's budget brand. So it would make sense that you would see a lot of uh, similarities throughout their designs. So the exit time, that's that's upwards in about three, four hundred dollars, maybe more. This knife less than fifty dollars. <throat> you don't get the, you know, you don't have as good of a blade still. But it's a good blade still. I just really blown away by the by this one. It doesn't have the best access to the liner lock. But it does have, you know, it's good access. It's good enough. I think a lot of times we're used to actually being able to put our thumb up in there a little bit. But you don't really have to. All it takes is just to catch it on the side as you go down. It's not as comfortable as what we're used to. But it's just another way to do it that will ensure that you get proper technique every time and it'll keep your finger from being sore I'm trying to dig it all the way up in there all you got to do is just catch those jumps right there as you come down just catch it with the bottom of your thumb and it'll come down every time i really like the way they did the cutout for the finger hole deployment it grips your finger really well but as you can see, they chamfered along the edges to make it, you know, where it's comfortable. You know, it doesn't like rip your finger off. I do notice sometimes like it'll, it'll grab little bits and pieces of my fingernail, but it's not like chunks. It's just, you know, that's going to happen anytime when you got metal skating across a fingernail, but just got an awesome finger hole. I really like that. 
really, really easy to thumb flick. I actually think it's easier than a lot of other knives that have finger holes. Seems like you gotta have it just right on some knives, but this one, as long as, I mean, you just put your thumb there and flick and you got it. So I really like the finger hole for this one. The flipper tab is excellent. <clears throat> As you can see, they got jimping going all the way around. So it doesn't really matter where you catch this guy. You can catch it up top. You catch it on the side. You can dag on almost catch it at the bottom. If you had enough leverage to do it. Because those jipping, when they touch, they're grabbing. Okay, let's talk about the pocket clip. This is not the original pocket clip. It came with the Vesperon. <clears throat> it came with just the normal uh, Sincup pocket clips. I don't really like the bent over still <clears throat> pocket clip, so I ordered this one from Civivi. <clears throat> they actually have a, they got two pocket clip kits. One of them comes with just two screws. And then they got another one that comes with like three or four, yeah, it's three sets of screws. I recommend getting that package. It's only 50, 55, 60 more cent extra. And it comes with three different size screws. <laughs> three different size screws. That way you don't have to use the same hardware that came out because the hardware that comes with it, you can see that they got rounded. They got rounded heads and their titanium, so it'll just give you a cleaner look. But I mean, if you if you have to get the other kit, you know, like if they're out of stock or for whatever reason, you end up getting the other kit, <clears throat> you can use the screws that come out of the old pocket clip. And it will hold this one on. It just it might not look as good, but that's all up to you. It might look okay. But yeah, guys, this is just an absolute winner in my book. This guy jumped way up on my favorite list with Sincut. It's actually, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a battle going on right now for first place with me. With Sincut, it's between this one and the Sincut with Targa. The Sincut with Targa has always been my favorite. But man, the action on this guy, uh, that, that awesome blade shape, the finger hole, grippy G10, and now that I added that 3D mill pocket clip, it just really added to the knife. This guy's a real big contender for that first spot. He's punching hard, he wants to take over. Like I said, this is my second variant this was my first one <clears throat> i ordered this one first when it first came out i already got the uh, titanium clip put on here as well but uh it's got the black wash blade and you guys all know how they get to look in after you get to using them so i wanted to keep this one looking nice <clears throat> went ahead and got the satin i was thinking about doing a blade swap putting the satin on the micarta but I don't know I'm still trying to figure it out I kind of like the way it looks right here the black I still end up having all black but I just prefer the micarta to the G10 but it's a really really excellent knife really consistent this one's got a D10 on it that's just as good. Action's just as good. The lockup's just as good. Got about 25, 30% lockup. Man, I just really love this guy. This one feels a lot better in hand than the G10 one. 
and I think it's only you know a couple bucks more it just all depends on what you like but you can't go wrong with this knife Let's see I actually have the Watauga right here here's the Sincut Watauga <clears throat> this was my former first place contender and it still kind of is it's my favorite blade shape <clears throat> the Warncliffe got the button lock super fidgety can use it really easy with one hand it's got the fuller you can reverse flick off of thumb flick it Use that button lock, use that flipper tab, just really excellent knife. It's got that forward finger choil. <clears throat> That's the only thing I don't like about the Vesperon is it didn't come with a choil. But my buddy Dylan over at Tool Addict Dylan, he's got a video out showing how to cut sharpening troll slash finger trolling so i'm thinking about doing that i would recommend doing that get a better experience out of this knife <clears throat> but if you're interested in doing that run over to uh my friend dylan's page at tool addict dylan look up his video on how to cut in a sharpening troll for the sync cut vesperon and he'll get you right on all the tools and how to go about doing that. He did it to his and it turned out really good. It looks like it came from the factory. He's really good with modding. He does a lot of excellent work. And I think he I think he may do some side work. I'm not sure. You can hit him up. On Instagram, it's uh, Dylan for the win. Dylan underscore for the win. You can hit him up if you're interested in getting any custom modified work done to your knife. But uh, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I just wanted to come on here. This is actually longer than I meant for it to be. I apologize for that. I just wanted to come on here and sing some more praises for the Sincut Vesperon. It's an excellent, excellent release. And I think every one of you should get one. I don't think you'll be disappointed at all. All right, guys. That's it. Thank you for coming by and hanging out. Hope you all have a great Sunday night. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.